Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Self Learning Broadcast. My name is Sumit Goyal and uh, today I am here to tell you how to generate a default product delivery date using a formula fee. So let's suppose I, a customer placed an order in Salesforce and he wanted to know that when this product will be going to deliver at his place. So what will be the tentative delivery date? So this we can do in our this we can do in Salesforce with the help of formula fee. So let's take an example here. So like as you can see here, there is one or the one order has already been placed. So I click on this order. So you can see here we have order number, we have product type, we have brand name, we have quantity, we have owner, we have booking date, we have total amount. But there is no product delivery date. So there is no date specified that on which date this product will be going to deliver. So what do we, what I want is, I want to display a date according to this deliver, this booking date. So let's suppose if the booking date is of today's date. So I want to display the date after five days here. So how this we can do? This we can do with the help of a formula field. So let's see how to add a formula field here and how to show the date by itself. So steps first of all you have to go on we have to click on setup under setup create then objects then we have here online shopping so I click on online shopping so now you can see here we have standard fields we have custom field and we will be going to create a custom field so I click on new because we are going to create a formula field so if, as you can see here we have many data types here text area phone pick list number email data type so we choose we select formula from here and next so provide a field name here so uh, date of delivery this is a field label and this will be the field name. As you can see here, field name comes automatically as soon as I click on this text box. Now, because what will be the return type? This you must specify because we are working for a date here. So the return type must also be date. So I select date from here. Next. Then click on advanced formula and we have to insert field so and here now we can choose our field from here so this will be booking date booking date and because we want delivery date will be date after five days of from the booking date so I enter here booking date plus we can click on check syntax to check if the syntax is okay not okay so there is no error in the syntax and next we can click on next and next and save so now you can see here the field has been added here date or delivery and the data type is formula and now let's go go back and see if it is working or not so click on online shopping and click on order so now you can see here the booking date is 28.42014 and the delivery date is after five days from this date so that will be 3rd of May 2014 so like this we can so like this we can implement uh, a formula field to show the delivery date based on the booking date. That's all in this video. So if you have any problems or queries, you can send a mail to us and we will be helping you in that. Thanks for watching the video. That's all for the day. Have a nice day. Goodbye.